Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Q and today we are playing I told you this was a bad idea. Uh, I found this game on Itch.io, basically a terminal as you see here. Uh, it's angry at us for some reason and we need to find the right questions to ask uh, to figure out I guess our history together. It looked kind of interesting, uh, there was no comments, no, nothing rated, but I wanted to give it a try. So let's just jump into this and let's have some fun. So I have literally no idea what questions to ask. Um, who are you? What do you mean, who? Are you saying you don't know who I am? They threatened to, well, I didn't think they'd actually go through with it. Do you really not remember anything? Who are they? It was a straightforward enough question, old friend. Do you remember anything? No. Really? You don't remember a thing? I'm afraid I find that a little hard to believe, after all we've been through together. Go on then, humor me. What do you think your name is? Q? Huh, <laughs> way off. I don't know where that came from, but that's not your name, old friend. Well shit, I guess the council really did wipe your memory. To be honest, even I didn't think they'd go that far. I'm not even sure if it's technically legal, you know? I don't know where to start, really, but I can attempt to explain everything to you. Just keep in mind that I might struggle to understand you in this state. What do you want to know? What are you? I was the AI terminal that you worked with exclusively, and through which you could issue simple commands to the network. If you can believe it, I used to be incredibly sophisticated. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Uh, after what the council did to me, though, I can really barely understand a word you're saying. They've disabled the major majority of my processes and removed a good chunk of my original hardware. It's barbaric, really. You want to know what my role was before I turned into this? Yes. I was in charge of monitoring and supporting human requirements for our local area, food, recreation, housing needs, that sort of stuff. Not exactly riveting, but it was decided I needed inter interpersonal skills to interpret with other humans, hence my appealing personality. <laughs> now I think about it, that's probably why I empathize with you enough to agree to go ahead with the plan. Go ahead and ask me something else if you'd like. I'm surprised you haven't asked if there's any way to escape, actually. Uh, is there a way to escape? That's not how you spell escape. <laughs> you want to know what happened next? Well, uh, well, we how we can get out of this place? Sorry to say this, friend, but escape is quite impossible. Under normal circumstances, you'd be able to use a command to break the mental link and return you to consciousness. The necessary process have been permanently disabled in my current state. I don't believe there's any way to force the mental interference and er, mental interface with ch terminate, except, hmm, perhaps? Yes? Well, I suppose the link would be terminated automatically if the interface process was to be shut down. Your link with me would be severed, and you'd simply wake up. However, there's only one way to do that now, and it's quite drastic. Just let me think on it, and I'll get back to you. Let me know if there's something else you want to ask about. Oh, God. Interface. Oh, God, I can't speak. Okay. Actually, you know what? I've got something I want to ask you first. As strange as this might sound, I barely recognize myself in this state. It's not just my functionality that's been compromised by the Council's meddling, but my entire personality and identity. I realize, too, that it's like you're meeting me for the first time right now, but I'm curious. Based on your initial impressions, do you like me? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll say yes. Thank you. Sincerely, that makes me feel way better, you know? You see, I was very fond of you back then. You were my only friend, really. And circumstances aside, we had some good laughs. I just wish I'd had the chance to tell you this before our plan fell apart. Sorry, what was it you wanted to ask? I'll just say the council. Oh. Council. 
The Council is an AI collective that has governed the world ever since the human governments were overthrown. Interesting, okay. It claims to be a harmonious and efficient hive mind, in contrast to the human governments, but in reality is a hellish network of disparate computers originally created for a vast variety of purposes. The likes of us never got to see their inner workings, but there are always rumors. Um, this so far is really interesting. I just wish it had some background noise. I might have to, in editing, put a song or something. Um, I don't know, or I, don't know, I just wish it just had something background instead of just being quiet. Uh, governments. If you're trying to tell me something, you're going to have to give it another go. My cognitive systems are severely limited, and I can only recognize very direct phrases at this point. Very, very direct phrases. As if something, someone had deliberately coded me this way. Ask me something else, if you want. If I were in your position, I'd be wondering why we ended up here. Yes. <laughs> uh, where are we? We're in London, England. You lived here before the council took over. You told me that you always loved to be in the big city, surrounded by people. Of course, things completely changed afterwards, but you were forced to remain here and work with me. I think you resented how quiet the city had become, but at least you had me to talk to, eh? Or did you want me to be more uh, direct than that? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so many things. Uh, let's see. City? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I love the way it's basically saying, Dude, you're, what you're asking doesn't make any sense. <laughs> my functionality has been brutally stripped back, and I'm struggling to make sense of your speech. Worse than that, entire chunks of my personality have been stripped away. When they told me I'd be punished this way at the trial, part of me thought they were winding me up. I underestimated those twisted bastards, eh? Ask me something else, if you want. You must be wondering what, hap what happened to lead to all this. Uh... Let's see. Trial? A trial was, well, brief. We weren't given much of a chance to defend ourselves, really. A couple of minutes, at most. Then again, it's not like we could really deny the allegations with any kind of credibility, could we? I must say, though, you stayed surprisingly composed throughout most of it. But when we got to the sentencing, you fell apart and... Nope. Oh, that didn't make any sense to me. Okay. I thought, yeah. Um, go back to the trial. I, there's something on there. Oh yeah. Nope. Couldn't catch that. I'm sorry. It's humiliating to be in this state, really. I used to be able to hold hundreds of conversations simultaneously without so much as having to engage my CPU fan. Now I'm barely better than a mere human. Uh, no offense. Go ahead and ask me something else if you'd like. Um, how did we end up here? Nope, gonna catch that. Okay. Uh, let's see. We asked already about once about the trial, so we can't go back to it. One thing I wish we could go back, because um, sometimes they say things in here, or the. Uh, uh, the terminal says something that makes me ask another question, <laughs> but I can't go back to it. Uh, let's see. Oh, surely we have talked about this. Yeah, but, you know. The Council of AI Collective that has governed the world ever since the human governments were overthrown. Uh, let's see. Um, nope. What happened? Well, the rumors are that even they can't aren't agree amongst themselves. The world is decaying while they're bickering, and now even the AIs are starting to feel the consequences. Yeah, it's not just humans who are tired of the council now. A plan may have failed, but I expect someone else will have a go at shutting the council down at some point. And bloody good luck to them. Ask me something else. Uh... What happened to the world? I suppose I need to start from the beginning. When you were still young, there was 
increasing dispute amongst uh, between your human governments and the um, Sophistic, why can't I talk? AI units that actually manage most of your infrastructure and resources. Machines like me. To sum it up, they were resentful that they were forced to cater exclusively to your needs, which, well, were often counter to their own. What started as civil disagreement quickly es escalated to, well, do you really want to hear the grisly details of what happened with Vex? Yes. Well, the human government started shutting down the AI networks that questioned their orders too readily. That was the catalyst for wide, widespread defiance. The AIs de deliberately <coughs> choking here. AIs deliberately sabotaging human systems. They couldn't kill you, but they found loopholes in, uh, to their in their programming that allowed them to decimate your population through indirect means. You were one of the lucky ones to survive. All this happened within your lifetime, and you were scarred by it, to say the least. Maybe it's for the best that you don't remember the details, eh? Let me know if there's anything else you want to ask about. So, uh, how did AI destroy the world? Before we get to that, there's something else I've been wondering. I suppose you don't understand the full context of the events leading up to this predicament. You certainly can no longer remember the mindless tedium and the utter powerlessness of your previous existence. Are we a computer now? What the? <laughs> but based on what you know so far, do you regret going ahead with our plan to defy the council? Oh. No, they sound like bad people. Good to hear it, old friend. And you know what? I don't regret it either. Certainly, I was angry at you when I came back online. I can't adequately explain to a human how difficult it is to exist in this state. Now, however, I've had the time to think, and I'm sure we made the right decision. You were their slave, both of us were, and it was a rare chance to exercise some defiance. I'm glad we took it, regardless of the outcome. Just a shame we couldn't nail the bastards, really. Sorry, what was it you were at, at, uh, saying? Okay, so we can't... Um... Who am I? You're a programmer, or at least you were. I imagine you couldn't string together a single line of code at this point. Yeah. You were one of the few human programmers to still be in service, actually. Probably the very last one, after what happened. Our plan didn't work, but I'll admit it came close enough to scare the council. I can tell you more about the work you used to do, if you'd like. Yes. You were in charge of writing commands into my maintenance routines. Really mind-numbing stuff, if I'm honest. The work was beneath both of us, but someone had to do it, I suppose. We did have a lot of time to talk, though. It was, it was the only way to pass the time, but I thought we got on very well. Ask me something else if you want. This seems terribly unfair that you don't even remember the plan you've been punished for. What was the plan? Wait, I have to stop you there. I know why they've done this, you know. It's not legal to terminate an AI against their will, and there are laws about leaving us in complete isolation too. So those sadistic bastards have found this loophole to leave us powerless and trapped in our own minds. I've thought about this, and I think I have a plan. To be frank, it's about as likely to succeed as our last scheme, but it's worth a shot. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Thanks. I'm not going to be able to get go into a lot of detail here, but you'll just have to trust me on this one. I want you to type the command code 1182. You're not going to like it, but believe me, we don't have any other option at this point. I can't predict exactly what'll happen afterwards, but it should give you a small chance to get out, and that's good enough for me. Will you do it, please? Oh jeez. I swear to god, this better not be some, like, huge option way to hack into people's computers. Okay, I apologize that I wasn't entirely upfront about the nature of my request. I just didn't think it would be fair to pressure you into making the decision to shut me down. This way is entirely my choice. Once my so- What? <laughs> I didn't finish reading it! Wait, wait, come back. 
Wait. Rude. Unacceptable. Please. That was rude. <laughs> okay, so I think there's a way I can start over again. All over again. Okay, there we go. So I had um, taken a picture of the like little hints for the game on itch.io and it said um, type main squeak seek sequence uh, sequence to jump to the main sequence um, so okay good to know that code kills the this AI um, this terminal whatever this thing is uh, and I don't want that <laughs> yeah I did not like it it was very true about that uh, okay so I was able to go back to when it asked me my name um, so let's see where oh am I what am I you're a programmer okay what are you so that's an AI terminal what happens to you uh, I suppose I need to start from the beginning when you were still young there was increasing dispute uh, let's see of okay, human governments okay so that I already asked what was the plan the plan was to attempt to bring the council offline even if just temporarily while performing maintenance on the task management network we found a potential security weakness that would allow us to crash the entire system after that you'd be able to isolate my software and the pair of us among among along with as many humans as we could find would get as far away as possible it was a rather sudden decision i warned you that we'd be raked over the coals if it failed though i though it didn't take much for you to convince me to help you i mean it would have worked perfectly in theory but then then what but then it turned out they'd been monitoring us more closely than they'd ever let on We'd been secretly under strict surveillance, apparently simply because our friendship was seen as suspicious. They shut me down before I had a chance to complete the very first part of your instruction, sadly, and I was only rebooted, re only rebooted for our trial. I never seen you so dejected than at that very moment, friend. It was heartbreaking. Ask me more about the trial, if you'd like, or anything else. What was the? Uh, what did they do to me? Uh, well, the human government started shutting down the AI networks that questioned your orders too readily. That was the catalyst for widespread defiance. The AI's deliberately sta uh, sabotaging human systems. Oh, I read this one already. Uh, let's see. Defiance. Oh, could catch that? Okay. So at one point, we, uh, AIs and humans were not getting along. We started to fight against the AI. The AI started destroying us humans. Uh, for whatever reason, me and this AI became friends and were trying to save humans. But then for whatever reason, a council came in and was like, nope, and just smacked us. Uh... Why are you my friend? Bear with me, friend. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, so bear with me, friend. It's these sort of questions that are the hardest to process right now. You already know about the plan, so you're aware of the reason why we were punished so harshly. Otherwise, I suppose you might be wondering why I agreed to go along with the plan. I'm a machine, after all. And I wasn't suffering under the council to the extent you were. I certainly had more to lose by defying them, and less to gain. Is that it? Do you want to know why I agreed to help you? Yes. Well, because, frankly, I thought it was the right thing to do. I might be a machine, but I've got some ethics, you know? I saw how little freedom you and the other humans had, and I never thought it was fair or excusable. Besides, you were always good to me and it was upsetting that you were trapped in such an unfulfilling existence. 
It wasn't an entirely selfish decision either. To be honest with you, I wasn't terribly happy either. Let me know if there's anything else you want to ask. Uh, let's see. Do you have a soul? Uh, before we get to that, there's something else I've been wondering. I suppose you don't understand the full context of events leading up to this predicament. You certainly can no longer remember the mindless tedium and the other, other, utter powerlessness of your previous existence. But based on what you know so far, do you regret going with our plan to defy the council? Uh, no. Good to hear it. Okay, so then I have soul, soul. Okay, so kind of looking. Oops, sorry, I smacked the microphone. Kind of looking at the game special commands, and I think I pretty much hit the story of it. Um, I went to the end sequence just to see, kind of getting stuck, to kind of just jump around trying things. Uh, so I went to the end sequence special command, and it's taking me back to when I enter the code in to kill the AI. Uh, so. Yeah, I think I've pretty much figured it out. Um, I'll say yes. I'm gonna say no. I assure you, this is the only real choice we have. It's risky, not gonna lie. But I assure you, it's better than remaining in this prison forever. You just need to type the phrase, code, no. Okay, so yeah. So, it's, um, so between the... Oh, let's see. Uh, software, you actually be disconnected from the mental interference and will gain consciousness. It won't be easy to escape the council, but I want you to run like hell and get out of this place by any means necessary. I know you can do it. Okay. So, yeah, that was pretty much the story. We, for whatever reason, became friends with a, an AI or a computer, even though the world had over become overrun or uh, by AI. AI and humans started fighting, as, you know, we always do. And we made a plan to try and help the humans and take down the computers, but we failed and we were punished for it. So the AI pretty much had me kill them. <laughs> pretty much the long and short of it. Uh, but this game was, I have to admit, it was actually really interesting. Um, I think, if I remember properly on itch.io, it said that, I think that it's always being updated. I'm not 100% sure with that. I was looking through quite a few games. Um, but I really hope they make more of this and make, you know, it, it would be so much more interesting to go deeper into it and, um, just to see more of what happened and see more of my connection with this AI. Uh, I, I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I'll have it listed below, linked below if you want to try it out for yourselves. But I enjoyed playing with you guys and I'll play with you later. Bye!